Huh? 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 What? Damn. Hey y'all, hey, what's up y'all? What's up divas? What's up divos? What's up everybody? Hope y'all have like a great day. Happy New Year. You know, it's past New Year, but I'm just saying it's still a new year. So I wish y'all all well and the best of the best of the best for the new year. So girl, look, I just decided today I'm a, I got some wig videos that I have to do. I haven't done videos for wigs in like a couple of weeks. You know, it's kind of slow over on this side, but I do have some that I do need to do too. And I figured, you know what? Let me do my makeup with you guys, you know, we can chit chat, we can talk about life, we can give you a real talk, I can give you a real talk 2024 or past 2023, basically, you know what I'm saying, about my, my myself, a life update, you know, and just, let's just talk, okay, because I've been needing somebody to talk to at times, and I feel like y'all are good at this, so let's just talk, but anyway, so while I'm doing my makeup, I just figured that I would talk with you guys, and I'm gonna show y'all some products that I use, you know, this is not no type of promotion of these products, but in case y'all want to know, I will just show y'all, you know, I'm gonna just flash it real quick, I'm not about to really explain too much because I'm not a makeup artist, but girl, we're just going to get into this. So, you know, let me tell y'all, I have been single, no lie, no cap, no lie. I have been single since October of 2020, okay? Like, no lie. And I'm so fine with that. I'm so happy with that. I felt like, you know what, after the situation prior to that, I feel like it's best that I just take a break in any type of relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like... It wasn't even take a break because I don't jump from relationship to relationship. I really try to make things work with the person that I'm with. But, girl, I just felt like, you know what? I just didn't even want to be in a relationship no more. I just felt like I had been through enough, you know, with with this particular person. And I had just been, enough, been through enough in life in general with losing my son, which would be almost five years this August, and just going through life and having new grandchildren and being able to help everybody in my family and take care of everybody in my family. And when I say take care of them, I don't mean like provide for the grown up, the adult ones, or, you know what I'm saying? But just make sure that they're all okay. They're doing what they need to do, letting them know how much I'm, I care for them and I'm always going to be there. Like, you know, that particular type of shit. Um, and I just really wanted to just love on myself you know you know you go through like something like a bad breakup some people will jump into an, another relationship and i'm not knocking nobody for their choices you do what makes you happy but you know how sometimes you just be you just going through enough in general and you're just not interested in pursuing any type of relationship whether it be you know a heterosexual relationship or a same-sex relationship whatever you just not in the passion for it and it's not even that I'm not even in the passion for it, but I just really don't want to be bothered with it. Like, and I don't really, I can't really explain why I feel that way, but I just really don't want to be bothered with it. Like, I really do enjoy being single. You know, sometimes it just feels like you want to try to make things work no matter what with the person you with. And you'll just go to, you'll just go to all different type of measures and, you know, just remedies or you just really want to try to make it work. And then after a while, it's like, I tried that already. And I tried that for long enough. I just want to be me. I just want to be April. I just want to be happy. I want to be free. You know, I just want to learn to love myself. And I just want to be happy. I want to be there for my family. You know, I want to make new friends. I want to go out and have girls night. I want to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I just love being single i don't i don't really know any better way to tell you guys that who don't like peace of mind but in the same reality yeah i would like to be in a relationship one day not today not tomorrow probably not even next month next week next year but i want to be in a relationship where i know that i'm i can give you my all i can i can give myself my all and i can be okay you know i don't want to feel like oh is this right for me and is this is this a good thing to do i just want to be okay i want to be sure within myself you feel me you know what i'm saying that sometimes we just don't be sure within ourselves enough people have asked me why you don't want to be in a relationship you don't get horny you don't feel like you missing out on something no bitch i don't i really really don't i've been there done that okay i got five kids what the fuck makes you think that i i'm missing out on anything it's the same shit just in a different format like on some real shit like i'm cool and for those people who are in relationships i'm happy for them as long as it's a good relationship and you happy for yourself and you feel good and you feel like you and your significant other can battle anything together without being disrespectful to one another then i'm happy for you and that's the way it should be and 
I just feel like as a person like myself, you know, I have been in a relationship for like 23 years straight. I have been with this person for so long. It's like this. Once you've been through enough, you've been through a lot, you just want to take time for yourself. And I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm taking time for myself. I'm getting to know April. I'm getting to know the things that piss April off. I'm getting to know how to make sure that April's okay, make sure that April, you know what I'm saying, is calm. I'm trying to learn April in a different way. You know what I'm saying? So, you get what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, everybody wants somebody to love. Like straight up, nobody, I don't know, nobody that wants to be alone. I mean, I can't say that people don't want to be alone because everybody's different. I don't know everybody, but I know for me, of course, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to grow old alone. But for right now, I'm fine being just with April and I'm not alone I have my kids I have my grandkids I have my friends I have my dog my fur baby my bestie little pet dog I have people so I'm not alone I'm not going to allow somebody to come into my life if I just can't totally give you my all and what I mean by that is listen I've already been in this relationship with somebody for so long that I don't want to carry anything old into something new. You know, I need to really let go of that past. And I just I just feel refreshed being, you know what I'm saying, I can go out when I feel like it. I don't have to cater to nobody or it's not that even it's catering. I'ma just say this. I'm happy and I think I should be, regardless if I'm single or not. I'm so effing happy in my life right now and i mean like i can't say it's 100 percent all the time but i will say it damn near is i'm happy i have a granddaughter finally after four grand boys i have a granddaughter who drive me crazy y'all okay she is something else when i tell y'all she's something else she's something else and it's crazy how time flies so quick because it just really feels like she was just brought into this world like a little while ago and here it is she's already two and she's still short but she's sassy and she's got like this little added this little tube i can't even say attitude this tube like she knows when to roll her eyes i don't even know where she gets that from i figure she probably got it from the kids at daycare because you know she she sure do be coming back learning some new stuff and um we don't do that here but you know she's got her own little personality like really and i'm just really happy i'm happy i have a good friend you know what i'm saying who i'm very happy that i got to meet and we are just like two peas in a pod and you know sometimes we might be two peas in a pod sometimes we're not but you know i really really appreciate that i had to let some friends go um and it is what it is i'm pretty sure that i'm not the only one that had to let some friends go as long as i've been friends with them or you know known them and they've been a part of my life yeah i gotta let sometimes i gotta let you go because i'm just not gonna allow this anything you know so that's that is what it is and yeah you know letting friends go is definitely not something that makes me happy but i had to realize it's a part of life you know what i'm saying you win some, you lose some. You know, not everybody's there for a whole, you know what I'm saying, whole vibe. Some people are just part-time. You know, like part-time lovers, you do have part-time friends. Okay, girl? So let's not even forget that. We do be having part-time friends. And that's okay, too, because sometimes we might need those part-time friends for certain situations or certain type of life situations. But I'm happy. Like, I'm I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even thinking about a dude, a man, or anything like that. You know, I do, you know, I see men and I find them handsome, the ones that I find handsome, but that does not mean I want to be in a relationship with them or anything anybody else for the time being i just feel like i'm happy um you know i've been through a lot and i felt like i just needed time for myself and y'all know i've been through a lot so i just felt like i needed time for myself and i didn't need nobody else bringing any type of chaotic toxic nonsense in my life you know what i'm saying and i don't even know if i have shared this with you guys um but this was last year okay i'm gonna tell y'all about it. this was last year okay well it was in like the very it was like it was in 2023 it was 2023 um probably like back in march so like a year ago almost right um you know i had go i had went to hang out where is my brush at? I had went to hang out with my friend Tay. And we had went with my friend Tay. We had went to the Legion. And we had went to the Legion, like, in, on the south side. Now, this is the first time I have ever been. And we, we went out there to karaoke. Because, mind you, we always was, like, you know what I'm saying, karaoke. We would go to, like, Sun City in Arizona and go karaoke. In. Okay, Sun City is for, like, you know, senior citizens. You got to be, like, 55 and older to live out there. But they have some nice little features out there, you know. You know what I'm saying? They have some nice little things that you could do out there. Nice little restaurants with quiet, if you like, like, really quiet vibes. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. They do. You know what? I hate when I can't find something. And, and I'll be looking right at it. I know this brush that I like 
what I say. And tonight I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes. And that's one thing I really need to change about my damn self. But anyway, we we normally go to like this place in Sun City, but she was like, let's try also let Roman know you put it up. Um, but she wanted to go to the Legion. Now she been here before. I never been. So we met up there, you know what I'm saying? I drove my car, she drove her car. Cause I don't like really driving with other people because when I'm ready to leave, I'm ready to have to leave. But I'm not about to wait around for you. And if I don't want to leave, you're not about to rush me because I got my own wheels. So, you know, we 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 met up there. It was like a 35 minute drive. Now it was at night. Now mind you, I really don't like to drive anywhere in the dark. Especially if I never been there. Anyway, make a little story short. It was like a little hole in the wall legion. They could have did better. The menu consisted of two items, which was fish, uh, uh, fried chicken, and French fries. Excuse me. Okay, so the three Fs: fish, fried chicken, and French fries. And I was really like, nah, I'm not about to eat nothing in here. Okay, it doesn't look really sanitary to my likeness. Anyway, you know, I didn't even sing. But the other young lady that she had invited, which was her friend before she had met me, she had came through. And while Tay was up there singing, the girl she had asked me. She was like, what does he know about 19? What did she say, 1967? This guy, he had on um, a t-shirt that said 1967. So she had said something to him about, it. he came and sat at the table, he asked, can he sit down with us? So he was sitting next to me, but she was across from him, but I was in the middle of the both of them, you know what I'm saying? So make a long story short, you know, we was talking to each other, his name is Sean. His name is Sean. We was talking to each other, and um, she was talking. She was part of the conversation, too. Then Tay was finished, and she was part of the conversation as well. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth, we would go talk back and forth. I was watching other people sing, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how... Um, we gonna, we're just going to call her uh, Tina. I don't know how Tina started showing him pictures of her phone, like, in different outfits and wigs and shit. And he was just, like, going forward, going, going along with it. And she showed me, too, and I was just going along with it. Anyway, so we were still talking. He wanted my phone number. We was talking. Anyway, make a long story short, we had spoke to each other on the phone for three days straight, okay? And it was, like, a couple of hours, a couple of hours. He started getting a little bit too clingy to me, okay? Wanting to know where I lived. Wanting to, kept telling me that how his uncle married some lady after they knew each other for a week and it worked out for them. Okay, that's great, because I'm about to marry your ass. Kept saying how he wanted to come over, like, nah, mm -mm. wanted to go meet my dentist appointment. That's when I had to tell him on the third day, like, listen, you're a little bit too clingy for me. You know, I don't really like people sending me emojis with kisses and hearts when they just meet me. I don't like people trying to force their way over to my house. What? Yes. I don't like trying to, I don't like people that try to force their way over to my house to see what, you know, where I live at. Um, I'm, I'm really not feeling the whole conversation you keep mentioning about getting married and moving in together when I just met you. I had to let him know. And he was like, okay. And that was that. Okay, so see, this is one reason why I don't really want to date nobody because some of y'all men just don't have your shit together. And I'm not saying you got to be rich or none of that, but just having little minor things that we're supposed to have as adults. And plus, just don't be too clingy to a woman when you first meet her because that could be a turn off to some women. I don't know about others, but for me, it's a definite turn off. Anyway. Had to just nip that in the bud real quick. I am happy. I'm happy being single. I have turned down quite a few good dudes. I'm very happy being single. It is what it is. I mean, I'm just really happy. Sometimes we gotta get to know ourselves. And I feel like this is the time for me to really get to know myself. Not like I don't know myself, but you know, after being through something, you know, like losing one of my kids, being um, a superhero <laughs> and shit like that. You know, you just want to take time to learn yourself all over again because you just been through some really traumatic shit in life and you just gotta really get to know yourself. So for all those of y'all asking me why in a relationship, you still don't I get horny? No, the answer is no, I don't. I don't even think about it. I think like for me, I want somebody that is really in tune with themselves and I gotta be in tune with myself first. So no, I don't miss none of that shit, okay? Cause like I said, I got five kids. Don't you think I've had enough in my lifetime, okay? You ever feel like you just dodged a bullet? Like seriously, a, a, a fucking bullet? A damn bomb? Let's just call it that. You have to feel like you just dodged an entire nuclear bomb? Like, that's how I feel, okay? That's how I really, really feel. And I say this because of my past relationship. You know, I say that because, you know, the person, my ex, he still tries to contact me. However, I had to block him. I had to block him again. And I'm going to leave it blocked because you're not going to call my phone at 11 o'clock at night. What makes you feel you have the right to call my phone at 11 o'clock at night? Like, you don't know my personal life. I don't share that with you. And I could be laid up with somebody. I I could be out on a date with somebody. I could be hanging out with my friends. I could be doing anything. I could be sleeping, okay? I could just be sitting there watching TV and coloring in my coloring books because that's what the fuck I like to do. But what gives you the right to feel like you can call my phone at 11 o'clock at night? Not just one time, but you call six times in a fucking row. Back to back to back to back to back. What was reason? the reason? What was the reason? reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? You know, I tried to give him grace 
countless times, but this was it. This was it. I said, you know what? This is two days before 2024, and he's doing this shit still. But he just sent me a text message a few days ago, like a couple of weeks ago, excuse me, saying that, oh, he's he's back on the wagon. Or basically, you know, he's got his shit together. He stopped drinking. Dude, I know you. I know your texting is drunk. I know the way you are being repeatedly calling me back to back is a drunk thing. So let's not. So yeah, I have to just black block him for life. I do not tolerate disrespect. I might not really be for life, but it's going to be for a long motherfucking time because you are not about to irritate me. He's not done this just this time. He's done this on numerous occasions, apologized on numerous occasions because I had to read him a new fucking asshole. So yeah, I think I'm over the apologies. I'm just over a lot of shit. And that, that was like a huge freaking nuclear bomb that I dodged because had he not left and didn't come back after the passing of his parent, I would still be fucking stuck with you and you would have gotten on my nerves to the end of time. And I refuse to let anybody get on my fucking nerves to the end of time. So I thank God that he really put his foot down for this one because I was going through the motions of missing him and not being with him. And not just on this occasion when we broke up, but when I left him. So, you know, a person has to really, really learn. Sometimes you do get those signs like, girl, leave that motherfucker alone, okay? He is no good for you. Girl, run, run, girl. If you gotta leave and go to another country, bitch, run and get there. This is, these are the signs that I was getting. But you know, when you love somebody, truly love them, you don't see these things. You just be going with what your heart says and not thinking, okay? You just don't really be thinking. So, I'm glad that this go round, I think, you know, I wasn't going to put up with just about anything from nobody. I would dare you to even get on my bad side. I dare you, you know, and that's still how I feel. So I just feel like for me, relationship goals right now, as far as relationship, I'm not interested. You know what I'm saying? I'm interested in better myself, losing effing weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing that's really have got me kind of like, I'm not depressed. I'm definitely not depressed, but I feel a little disappointed within myself, you know? I really feel disappointed within myself because I worked out hard and went hard to lose all the weight that I had gained when I first moved here. In 2018 and 19, my, my size was much smaller than this because I had walked every day. I had exercised in the house. I didn't have a gym membership when I lost all that weight and toned up, but I did it on my own, you know? And I also went to the weight doctor, which helped me a lot with certain type of supplements they was giving me. But... Now I just feel really, like, disappointed within myself because I just really let myself go. In my eyes, I feel like I let myself go. Maybe to others, they may not feel that way, you know? But for me, this is not a comfortable size for me. Like, I wear a size 18 now. And mainly because of my backside, because of my ass and my hips. So I can't help that part. And I really, really realized a few weeks ago when I tried to put on some pants, and the backs were all the, the the waist was all the way down in the back, and the front was all the way to the top. That's when I realized, girl, you you really do need to get this under control. I just feel really disappointed within myself. Like, why did I let myself go? Why did I stop going to the gym? I just really wasn't a gym person. I don't like going to the gym. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to watch nobody to fuck work out. I don't want to see a whole bunch of other people in there. I don't care what size you are working out. That's just the the environment was just boring. It's not an environment that I really like, you know. The atmosphere is just like, okay, a bunch of machines and a bunch of people, people that I really don't want to see. I don't want to be in the same environment. I'm just going to go back to doing my walks because I enjoyed it. Every morning I walked like almost two miles and that was my shit. I lost a lot of weight for that. But I just feel like I let myself go and I did. I did. I, I did leave myself. I let myself go. And I hate that. I hate that for me because it's a challenge to get back to where you left off at. Yeah, I have, I have a whole bunch of different changes in my body and life. That is the reason why I've gained weight, you know what I mean? Like, when I lost all that weight, I had all my ovaries, my fallopian tube. I had everything women have inside, but then I had a full hysterectomy because of medical issues, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that contributed in weight gain and hormone imbalance. And then I did just go through traumatic life experiences with my kids, and I had to correct that. And, yeah, and also in my love life. So, yeah, but I just really didn't mean for myself to get like this. And the crazy thing about it is I don't even barely eat like that. But the one thing that I will do is, and I know it's bad, I'll eat at night in the bed while I'm watching TV or I'm coloring. That's when I'll eat my dinner, late at night, like 9 o'clock, okay? And I know that's not healthy for you. So lately I have been trying to be done with my dinner at like 7.30, you know, and I've been doing okay. I ain't gonna sit here and lie and be like, yeah, girl, I've been doing it right. I've got it going on. No, no, bitch. I've been doing okay. Because was it last night? Last night, I did eat my salad at 9, like 9.30. But it was a salad. But that's still no excuse. What I do need to do is go get me some cucumbers because I love cucumbers with ranch dressing. Those are the best things to snack on when, like, when I'm smoking my weed. 
that's when I start wanting extra snacks and shit at night. This is me. And I, and I know I let myself go. My I just know I did, and I'm not really happy with that. So I've been back on my walks like I should. And I've just been trying real hard. I don't know how long this journey is going to take. I guess that's why they call it a motherfucking journey. But I've been trying real hard, you guys. Like, I'm not saying I'm going to be in America's Next Top Model, because we already know I'm not. But I just want to look a little bit more slim down and I want to be healthy because I don't want to walk up the steps out of breath. I'm tired of, I'm just like really, really tired of feeling like this. I've had people say to me, you know, oh, you gain weight, girl. No, duh. It's like, I wouldn't know that. Don't you think I tried to fit into them 14s and they don't fit? What do you think? I'm still wearing them? People will say like the dumbest shit. And sometimes you just got to go along with it and give them grace because you just got to pity them because it's like, you a dumbass. Why am I even going to invoke on this? Why am I even going to go along with your dumb shit? I'm not going to lower my Myself down. I'm gonna just say, I'm just not gonna say nothing, okay? I'm not gonna say nothing. And then there's times when it's like, yo, you best to say something, cause they dumb as hell. And if you keep allowing them to walk around like that, even if they your friend, your relative, your coworker, whatever, if you keep allowing them to work like that, somebody gonna smack the fire out of them. So you best to warn them right now. So sometimes I say shit, sometimes I just let it go, cause it's just like, you're not even worth my time and energy. And plus, I need to lose weight, and I'm not about to waste my damn energy that I don't have on your fucking fickle ass. Some people say, you don't even look like you, you gained anybody. Girl, stop fucking lying. Because I don't need the lies and the bullshit to me. Don't even lie to me, okay? Just say nothing. Just shut your trap, okay? Just that's what you can do for me. So I have been trying, y'all. I swear to y'all, I have been trying hard. I go for my walks. Now, granted, a girl can't walk all around the whole entire Garden Lakes like she did some years ago. I got to start off slow. You know, the turtle will win, okay? The turtle will win. So I do have to start off a little slow, which I do, but I'm there. I'm, I'm effing there, and that's all that counts. And plus, I really need to walk because I have bad circulation. You know, I have vein disease. So I got to make sure that I get, you know, my legs stay strong. That's just like another thing. So on February 2nd, I have to go to the vein doctor and get like another procedure. I'll tell you, I went to, the, to get an ultrasound. This was back in... Had to be before Christmas. Yeah, it was before Christmas. And I didn't, and, you know, I had already had my veins done before, like, you know, them closing my legs, my veins. And I did a whole video on it. And it was just like a little pinch of a needle. Didn't really hurt. Um, I can't remember if she numbed me. She probably did numb me in that area. She did. She did. But um, it was it was a different, they did it a different way versus this new office that I go to. What I did get was glue. It's medical glue that they close your veins with. Well, they don't like using it anymore because sometimes it can open back up. And that's what happened. So I, I really didn't know that that, it, that that's what happened. You know, they just said that I was going to have this procedure done because one of my veins had opened back up. So I really assumed that it was going to be like the same way the other place did it with very little pain. When I tell you, it felt like a whole building had collapsed on my goddamn leg and I was stuck, I, like a whole building had collapsed on my leg. Like that's how it felt. It was so much pressure and it felt like it, it didn't burn, but it just felt so uncomfortable. And I went in there feeling like, God damn, I could have stayed my black ass at home for this. Why ain't nobody warned me? So I really do try to stay in shape, like, you know, fit, at least for my health. I just want to be in shape, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying real hard to lose some weight. And I know it don't happen overnight. Though I wish I could wake up from a dream and be, like, a, a little bit smaller than me. I ain't about to say skinny because I don't want to be that either. But I just want to be a little bit smaller than me. So, yeah, I've been trying, and it just be, like, so much. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to lose weight. It's so damn easy to put it on, but to get it off, it's like a nightmare. You, you, you be fighting for your life. Like, you in the ring with Mike Tyson or whoever else is popping. Um, what's his name? Flora Mayweather. You know, you, like, in the ring with him trying to lose weight. That's what it feel like. But I'm, I'm going to get there. I ain't saying by next summer because I'm about to give I'm not giving myself you know, unrealistic shit like that. Cause I know I could slip up at any minute and I'm pretty sure I ain't the only one that slipped up on a weight loss journey, but I'm going, um, I'm going to just keep trying, you know, that's, that's all I can do is just keep, keep on trying. Plus I need to be in shape. Cause look, I got five grandchildren, four grandsons and one granddaughter. And here's the kicker y'all. Now, you know, I did say I got five grandchildren. Well, in June, in June, I'm going to have six, okay? Yes. My son and his wife or girlfriend, whatever, fiance, they are having baby number four. And guess what? 
they have three sons already and guess what they're about to have a fourth son yes so yep they're having another little boy i guess i guess tato nevaeh she is definitely going to be my only granddaughter because she is with her i only need one granddaughter because she is a handful she will give you a run for your money and somebody else's like straight fact she definitely will i i, I ain't never knew a granddaughter to act like this no I, I didn't know granddaughters act this way. You know, she's like a little, she's like a little mini bully, a little mini bully. And you know, yeah. So six grandkids, my other little grandson, who is my second youngest grandson, he is three. Um, he's doing so good with his speech. If I, I, I think I did mention to you guys before that he is autistic. So he goes to school Monday through Thursday. It's only from seven to 10, but he has learned so much. And I can see the change in him from him being around children and other little people, you know? So I've noticed that he starts to speak more now, which is great. So, you know, within time, he will be able to speak and, you know, little things, little things. But he's so smart. And he's very intelligent. I just see the growth in him from going, like, to school, which I'm so proud of. And then I have my five-year-old grandson, <sighs> Julian, who is the complete twin of my son. They just look like, you know, two peas in a pod. And Julian is like, I'm going to just say this, Julian is overprotective over my son. He thinks that my son is his father and, and the other ones that he has is not. Like, you got an older brother and a younger brother, and they all live there with you. Do you all, you all have the same parents, but he swears that those are not his kids, and it's only my son. He, he has fits if my son is holding one of the, you know, like holding a baby or giving attention to the baby. It's just ridiculous. It's like, did you birth him? Because he acts like you are his child, like you gave birth to him. And he really does act like that. He says that that's his man. Yeah, so he's something else. Then, you know, I have Tinky, who is nine now, and he wears glasses. He's been wearing them for just a little bit, just a little bit now. And my oldest son, JJ, he also, he's my oldest grandson, JJ. He is 11 now, and he wears glasses, too. So it's, it's just so funny. They just grow so quick, and it's just, like, amazing. I don't know if it's amazing, because time just goes by too fast. They just... I can't believe my granddaughter is already two. I just, that's the one thing that shocks me because it just really seems like yesterday that she was just a little low thing. The one thing though, you guys, I can't believe I'm gonna have six fucking grandkids. Like, what the hell just happened? I moved here and I had one. And then Taki had Tinky like a couple years later. And um, then now I got six. Like, y'all are. Uh, I, I was cool with five because I have five kids. So, you know, I, I thought that was going to be the end of it for me with the grandkids. But no, nope, another grandson. And so basically, I'm just a, a boy grandmother with a little princess on the side. Six grandkids and all of them out here in, in good old Arizona. Well, let me tell y'all about that because some of y'all have asked me, like, what do I like about it? How do I feel about Arizona? Because I've been living out here. I've been living out here 10 years, you guys. 10 years. And... It doesn't even feel like that. It's a lot has changed. And honestly, I don't I don't even know anymore if I want to make Arizona my forever home. I was taking the blue off my last trips. I really don't know if I want to make Arizona my forever home. Only because when I left New York, I came here to get away from like tall buildings or around each other. They just nonstop build shit. They build shit from sun up to sundown, Monday through Sunday. They just when you come outside one day it'll be regular. Then when you come outside the next day, you'll be like, where the fuck did that building come from? You know what I'm saying? That That's how it is out here. They just, just non-stop building shit. It's like, can you let that, that spot just stay as just some empty land? Like, it looks nice as empty land. We don't have to have a building on every fucking empty land lot. Like, I, I don't know. I just really don't think that this is going to be my forever home. And plus, you know, the rates of rent and everything has gone up. And on top of that, I just don't want to live somewhere where it's crowded, you know, and there's so many people. And that's why I left New York, because of those reasons. And, I, you know, let me tell y'all, I am an introverted person, so I like peace and quiet. I don't really like to go out as much as a lot of people do insist and insist on. I'm happy just staying at home and minding my damn business, you know what I'm saying? That's me. I'm happy with staying at home and minding my business. I feel like I do that very well. And listen, I know that it'd be safe at home. So I just feel like I don't want to be around all of these these people, these buildings and things of that nature. So I feel like, you know, I probably, I don't know, I, I do want to move, but I want to move somewhere where it's quiet, where it's a low population, where they don't have a whole lot of shit. Like, 
I don't really care about clubs and, you know, give me one good bar that's in town. Maybe I can go karaoke. I can make, you know, a couple of friends. You know, that's what I like. That's how I like to live my life. Like, you know, quiet. I'm a quiet person, you know. I could get loud and rowdy at times, but, you know, for the most part, I'm quiet. I really don't like, like, a lot going on. And so a lot of things that other people like, I'm just really not into, and that's okay. But I just feel like, you know, um, so like I was saying, I don't really need a lot, you know? One good bar where everybody is karaoke, and well, not everybody, but, you know, the locals, karaoke, you know? Something like that. And not no damn racist bar neither, okay? Because I like people of all shades, but I really just don't like to be where so much going on. That's just, it's just not my scene. You know, it's not my vibe. So I'm about to put my lashes on. Girls, I told y'all before, I did put it in my Christmas things that I did get how much I love these lashes from Amazon. They are my favorites. So let me put these on real quick and I'm come right back. That was the Amazon delivery. My coloring books are here. Yes, y'all, I color. Those are one of my hobbies. But like I was saying, I'll tell y'all that in a minute. But like I was saying, you know, I get the attention. And it's not it's not that it sucks to turn it down, but I'm just not in the mood. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the mood. I really like my peace. You know what I'm saying? I like my peace. Um, when we go out, I do get attention, you know. But I like my peace. Um, girl, I was going to fake it till you make it. You know, fake it till you make it type thing. But look, this is what I'm talking about when I say fake it till you make it. So for one, this ring is super pretty, okay, by Maxine. A girl look, okay? Now, sometimes you do have to fake it till you make it, but until then, I'm going to just be myself. But if you need a fake it till you make it ring or you're on a budget and you don't really have the funds for, like, something really expensive, then check out Maxine. Yes, I am doing a commercial ad right now in the middle of this video. You can check out Maxine's. They have some really nice jewelry on their website. It does come with authentic papers, a cute little bag, an authentic paper, their mission and what they stand for, what they carry, you know. So if you're on a budget, you know, it's all about love. That's what I'm going to just say. It's all about love. When you love somebody, I really don't think that you have to worry about or should have to worry about spending a ton of money on somebody's wedding engagement ring like you know what i'm saying like some women though they do want the most expensive things but why go broke and if you just want to be with that person and you just want to be married but you don't have the funds then why stress yourself out that's just me i'm not a very materialistic person but sometimes we do have to fake it till we make it and that's fine too but like i was saying if you want a budget check out maxine's they do come with a silver seal bag this is their silver polishing cloth that is inside of it okay girl so you do get a nice cute little square you know clean your clean your ring off and the ring comes in a box you know it's a box has their name on it and everything and I was able to choose what I wanted. And I hope it fits my little fat fingers. But it's a wedding ring set. A wedding ring set. I thought it was really pretty. They had some other ones that just really weren't my style. But I thought this was really, really pretty. A nice wedding uh, set. I do believe this is sterling silver. I will definitely link everything down below about the, the ring. But I thought it was really pretty elegant. You know, like I said, if you're on a budget, you really can't, you know, break the bank for getting a engagement ring for your spouse. But you both have an understanding of, you know, that budget. And you both have an understanding that it's all about love. Girl, check Maxine's out. So I'm going to try it on. You know, like I said, you got to fake it till you make it. Now, my fingers, I did get in a size 8. And maybe I'll wear this out when um, I need to fake it till I make it. So that way I'll be bothered and harassed. You know, it's nice to have a conversation with a man. But I just really don't like getting hit on that much and it's just sometimes it's just like and then you know what even if you're trying to fake it so you make it it still don't even matter to them because sometimes they just don't care if you marry or not but like i said i think this is great for people that are on a budget and want something nice or just want something to be able to slide on someone's finger or just show someone some love but look at that i think it's really pretty it's a very pretty ring you know very nice ring fits perfect and you don't have to wear them as a set you can actually come on focus camera you could definitely wear it as you know by itself you know one at a time it doesn't necessarily even have to stand for being married or engaged it could just stand for oh, girl look i bought myself something really really nice and so i thought it was cute i do like the fit of it it fits really good it's not sliding around or anything like that you know really realistic it doesn't look too gaudy and that's what i was going for because they do have different choices they have a lot of choices and girl i didn't want to put something really too i fake until i make it but i thought this was cute you know what i'm saying you you can even wear it as by itself, just like a regular ring. Look at that, bam. 
hello. So it doesn't really necessarily have to be for a wedding. You could just wear it because you want to feel fancy, girl. I like feeling fancy all the time. Maybe I'll just leave it on. I'll make a nice fake it till you make it thumbnail. Okay. But, um, yeah, check out Maxine's. Like I said, they got some really nice jewelry on their website. This video is being sponsored by them. I'm just going to say that because they did send me something, and I just really thought that I would include it in this video. But, um, yeah, they uh, exquisite designs. You'll adore. They do really have some nice stuff on their website. I will say that. It's not a diamond, but it has the same sparkle as a real one. Maxine's designs are based on neutral and natural, emotionally colorful elements. I'll list it. I'll link their stuff below. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this. Okay, girl. They can see you make it. You know what I mean? They can see you make it. But, yeah, you know, like I was saying, I don't, you know, I've turned people down. I, I do like my quiet life, you know. Sometimes it can get a little hectic with the kids, the grandkids. But I do appreciate the quiet. I do appreciate just being myself, you know, walking around, looking, I don't know, girl. I let myself go, but, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. But, you know, for me, I like to sit at home sometimes, you know, depending on the mood that I'm in. You know, you ever wake up in the morning and you be like, oh, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. But then once you get awoke, it's like a different attitude. I don't know why I wake up like that every fucking day. Every damn day I'm waking up like, I ain't going for no walk today. I ain't going out today. This is me. Every morning when I come back after dropping the grandkids off, I'm taking a nap. But none of that shit that I just beefed about occurs. I go for my walk. I come home and I eat my breakfast. Okay, as soon as I drop them off at school, I go for my walk. I come home, I eat breakfast. I have my little iced coffee with me. I may work on the computer. I don't never take no damn nap. And when I don't have no videos to put to um, when I don't have no videos to um, hold on, wear it on this up. hand because you know. I'm not gonna fake it till I make it right now, you know. But if it's if it's if it's even more comfortable in this hand, but um, you know, sometimes I'm um I get a little bored because there's not a lot of things. Sometimes I run out of videos to edit, so you know, I get bored. But you know, I just enjoy my little simple life. You know, I don't know if you want to call it simple life, but um, I enjoy just being here. I don't have to worry about being irritated. I don't like being irritated. That's number one. So, yeah. Um, you know, at night, I can just chill. I, I sit in my bed. I get my coloring books and my little coloring, my markers and shit. And, and, I, and I smoke my weed, okay? And I watch TV and, and, and I, I, I like color. You know, some people think that it might be strange to grow That's why they're called adult coloring books, girl. Okay? Let me speed this video up real quick. I don't know why I tried to use this brush wet. I mean, this is like a little bit damp, but um, I haven't used this makeup brush in so long. I'm trying not to use the Beauty Blender so much because it seems like every time I use it, um, it just sucks the makeup off, but I... I really feel like I should have. Hold on. Okay, now. I really had to blend that in, girl. I felt like I started looking like the mask, you know, Jim Carrey mask. So I did use my beauty blender, but so I guess sometimes I be using it too damp. Like it be too wet. That's not a good. That, that's when it takes the the makeup off. So yeah, what was I saying? So yeah, you know, I'm I'm cool being single. I have my hobbies that I like to do. Um, like I said, I like to color every night. I love to color. That's why I got some color and some Amazon current, uh, markers and coloring books just delivered to me like I need anything more. But I love a variety of everything. You know what I'm saying? I think that's my problem, being a, having a variety of everything. Like, I do like a variety of everything. Yeah, I'm just going to get through this, do these two videos, and get me something to eat and be about my business. So, you know, like I said, I had to use cream, so I'm going to use some more cream. But this one is lighter because I just wanted it to be lighter underneath my eyes. So I'm going to use this next one here. You know, it's crazy that I don't even be knowing I have half this shit. But anyway, also, I wanted to talk about, like, a lot of people have asked, what about Real Talk? I miss your Real Talk. So I do still do Real Talk. I don't, it's not like an all-the-time thing, but I do it through via email. However, that's only because, you know, I do get emails and I don't want to leave anybody hanging or, you know, ignored. And sometimes I feel like I don't do enough. Like, even with my videos, with the comments, I just be, I'm just like a one-woman band and I have so much that I have to do sometimes in a day. You know, I bring my grandkids to school, I come home, I go for a walk. I sit at my computer until it's time to get my grandkids from school. You know, I do a lot. And um, 
I, I try to get to a lot of things, and by the time I get to things, I'm tired or it's old. So, you know, I do apologize for not responding to comments a lot, and I'm really trying to get better at that. And that that's a task in itself, you know. And I like to make sure that everybody is attended to, okay? Is attended to. So, I do reply to emails when I do get them about Real Talk. And I guess it's time, you know, because I do have a couple, too, um... I guess it's time to bring it back. The reason why I did stop doing it was because I just needed to reevaluate my own life. I just didn't feel like I was in a great place to be able to tell anybody else my advice or my opinions, you know? And I just wasn't in a great place for my own self and not be truthful, you know what I'm saying? Like, who am I to sit up here and judge somebody's email or situation when my situation is not that great as it is now? Now, it might not have been the baddest thing, but I just felt like within myself, that was my situation. I needed to figure things out. I needed to better myself. I needed to go through what I was going through and I needed to handle the situation. So I just feel like that's that wasn't the time for me to be able to do real talk and talk shit, okay? Not that I talk shit, but you understand what I'm saying. So I did have plans on bringing it back, but I just wanted to do something different this time. Like, I'm not going to do it live because everybody has their own set schedule. Everybody has their own lives. And, you know, I live on the West Coast, so my time is my time frame is different. Plus, I just feel like when I'm doing Real Talk Live, you know, I don't have to edit the video, which was always great, but it just exceeded sometimes a little bit lengthy in time which made me kind of like, you know, fall behind on other things. So for right now, I'm just going to go back to the way I was originally doing it, which was not live, but, you know, pre-recorded or whatever. And I was also going to, I just wanted to do something different instead of me sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys, which is probably like the best thing because you can see my face, you can see my reactions. Y'all know what I look like. And a lot of people, they wouldn't even watch my face. They would be driving to work, listening to it, or, you know, which is cool, because I would rather you drive and look at the road than not at my face. You can hear that shit. All you need to do is really hear my voice. So I figured, like, I wanted to do, like, different things in the video. My main thing was maybe I'll just color, and they could see me coloring while I'm, you know, reading the email. I will definitely record it like how I'm doing this now, but I would take my face off the video, like, you know, chop the video off the video part and keep the audio. But, um, that's, that's what I, it would be like more or less like a voiceover to c color it, but it would be like, it really, you know what I'm saying? So I guess that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do something different. I didn't want to be sitting in front of the camera all the time. And I'm pretty sure there'll be moments where I will come on camera and show my, my face. Okay. But, um, I did want to bring it back. And I was thinking like, probably like after February, like at the end of February, I bring it back. And that way it gives people an opportunity to send more emails after you watch this video. I do get emails, like I said, still. So, you know, I just felt like after February would be best because that way everybody has an opportunity to get their um, emails in, their questions or whatever. But um, I just really didn't feel like I was in the right place, you know. I just felt like it was better for me to step back and just e evaluate my life, my situation, learn to love April. Other than that, you know, it is what it is. Like I was saying, um, I had to let some people go who don't let people go during the year. You know, I had to let one of my friends go, and she, granted, she she's not, she, I didn't really let her go, but I had to basically tell her about herself, so our relationship isn't, like, the same as it was, which is fine, because it just, it just is fine, it is what it is, but, um, you know, I just got tired of her introducing me to other people as the light-skinned freckle face, like, we're not kids, we grown-ass women, first of all, I'm older than you, okay, and you're not gonna keep calling me that, like, I know I got freckles, I know this, I see them every fucking day, I know this, man, okay, and I just didn't feel like you don't do things like that as a grown woman, so I had to tell her about herself about that, and not only me did she do it to me, she did it once to my bestie, uh, Sabrina, she's, we look just the same, we have freckles, same complexion, everything. And, you know, you don't have to greet us like that. You don't have to introduce us as such. That's not an introduction. And I just, you know, I took it for as long as I could take it. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I'm about to tell her about her stuff because she ain't gonna keep doing this. Like, I was trying to be nice to her and she don't know that I could be nice, nasty too. Okay, nice, nasty too. So I'm about to tell her about her stuff. So I texted her, you know, I texted her, I felt, and then she caught me. You caught me at the right time. She caught me like five minutes after. And I only, I texted her because I wanted to have proof and receipts. Like, this is what I said to you. You're not going to go around telling nobody else this is what I said when that's not what I said. I wanted proof and receipts. So when she called me, we kind of we kind of got, like, it wasn't even no shot of mouth, but match. But I was kind of, like, very on the defensive side because 
like I said, I don't I don't think that that's a, a correct term of introducing somebody to another person they don't know. Like, don't do that. You just don't do that shit. Like, we're not in middle school anymore, bitch. I'll knock you upside your motherfucking dome piece, okay? And so, like, I told her, she's like, oh, well, I didn't see it as that. Well, you don't, you, of course you ain't gonna say you ain't, that's why you was doing it. You know, so basically I had to let her know how it was and, and also stop talking about Sabrina and, and talking shit about Sabrina. Because just because you don't like her or she's not your friend, she's my friend. And just because me and her go here and there doesn't mean we have to invite you. She got kind of mad because I didn't, um, invite her to, uh, what was it? Where did me and Sabrina go? I can't remember where we went, went. We went out for Sabrina's birthday. She got mad about that. But you, where we go, you don't even like to go. You don't drink. You don't smoke weed. So some of the things, and, and we don't, and you don't eat meat. So we don't want to keep hearing you talk about, well, I wouldn't eat that. I wouldn't eat that. Like, you're not about to ruin my vibe or her vibe or her birthday. And I don't think that I have to tell you where I'm going with her because she's not your friend. She's my friend, okay? Yeah, we met her together, but me and her linked up as friends and we speak to each other all the time. You got your own crowd of friends, girl. I'm not knocking you. But, you know, I had to tell her about her stuff about that. Like, I don't have to get permission or tell you wherever I'm going to hang out. Bitch, you ain't my motherfucking mammy. And I'm grown, so I don't even have to tell my mama that. But anyway, so, you know, we didn't, like, I didn't let her go, but we we not as cool as we used to be, which is fine, like I said, because... I found a friend that's perfect for me. You know how you got to go through friends just to find the perfect friend? You know, I don't know if everybody feels that way, but when you get my age, you cannot just be friends with just any fucking body. You know what I'm saying? You just you just can't be friends with any fucking body. You know, some friends will get your ass in a whole heap of trouble where you ain't never going to see daylight again or at least be behind or not be behind some bars. And I ain't trying to find no friends like that because I already done did my time before. I didn't been in enough trouble in my life. I'm about to be 50 years old, girl. I need some subtle friends that just want to chill and not do no crazy dumb shit okay so yeah you know you, you find friends and you let them go because you figure out you figure out who they really are so you know that's the friend that i have to let go you know it is what it is no love lost like we didn't we still cool you know what i'm saying but we're not cool like we used to but listen you're not about to be insulting me to a whole bunch of people that i don't know bitch you're not gonna insult me at all i don't give a fuck if i know them or don't you're not gonna call me light skin freckle face i don't like that that's not a cool term okay you know that that it is what it is you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to tell y'all, you know? That that's my life. This is what I've been doing. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to be a better person. I like, I try to be a better person every fucking day. I don't know what I can say about that, but I try to be a better person every effing day because why not? You know what I'm saying? I have been trying so hard to not like allow people in their stupidity or nonsense get to me. You know, I have become like a lot more patient with people and, and I'm, and I'm proud of myself for that. I guess at 50 years old, damn near 50, you should be a lot more patient with people. Because there are some people out here in this world, unfortunately, that are just dumb, okay? Let's just say it like it is. There are some fucking people that are just dumb. And it is what it is. I'm, not all of us are born with smarts, and that's okay. I have become a lot more patient with people. And the main thing that is important to me is my faith in God has become a lot more stronger. And, and I'm proud of myself for that. That, that. that is what I'm really, really proud of. And I think in life, you have to go through some things in life to realize what it is that you need, what it is that's good for you. You understand what I'm saying? You know, some people just can't tell you, well, girl, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not going to be good for you. You have to find out for yourself. You know, a hard head make a soft ass, like they say. And that's okay because that's what life is about. It's about life lessons, learning how to maneuver through life, learn how to do the right thing, how to treat people, how to treat yourself. I'm just proud of myself for um, allowing, you know, God to really come into my life. You know, I, I've been through a lot and, you know, I've been through a whole lot. And I can say I ain't proud of it. And then I can say I am proud of it because I never have buckled under the shit that I've been through. I might have been sad and crying and kick myself down, but then I do get back up. So I'm really proud of myself for allowing faith to like, you know, God really come into my life. And I'm, I'm happy with, with things. I don't have to have the best of the best of the best the riches or none of that you know I, I say this to you guys all the time as long as I woke up I'm happy you know what I'm saying when people see me in the street they be like how you doing I'm good I woke up this morning because that's what matters to me you know what I'm saying that's that's what really matters to me is being able to be here for my family you know for my friends and sometimes I just feel like girl what they gonna do without you but I try not to think in that way I just try to instill in them the strength that I have and I also and wisdom you know what I'm saying like wisdom is so important because 
some of these kids these days, y'all, they don't got no damn smarts, okay? And I hate to say it like that, but y'all know, like I do, some of them don't be having, like, the most intelligent minds. And it's just sad because it's like, well, damn, don't you, you shouldn't even have to be taught that. You should just know. Like, you should see that that building, like, that, that it ain't good. It ain't good to do. You should just, like, automatically know that. But, you know, there are a lot of people out here, and I'm not even going to just say kids or young people, because there are a lot of grown-ass dummies, too, all right? A whole lot of grown-ass dummies. <clears throat> and that's okay, too, because uh, they're smart, it's not yours, and yours ain't theirs. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, I'm trying to maneuver around in life. I'm trying to find April. I'm trying to get back to April. I'm trying to, you know, stop putting myself down when I feel like I've gained weight. You know what I'm saying? I had to let myself go. And when I say I let myself go, y'all might not even believe me. But trust me when I tell you I let myself go. I don't, you know, I go I go outside every day with sweatpants. Well, and I like to be comfortable because why the fuck am I getting dressed up? I'm going to daycare and bring the kids to and from school. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I can't really say I let myself go, but I don't do my makeup every day to go somewhere. And that's fine. I've learned to be embrace my natural beauty. And that's what it is for me. You know, I, there's a lot of things that I used to do that I don't do anymore. And then when it's time for me to go out, like hang out with my friends, Girl, take me like hours and hours to find something decent to fit. Cause I'm like, nah, I ain't wearing that cause I'm gonna get hot. You know, I got hot flashes. Nah, I ain't wearing that cause I don't like the way that shit look on my food. But it's just a one thing after the other after the other. Like straight facts, like for real. But I've enjoyed this life that I'm living. And I have a lot of, I've been, I've, I've had a lot of turmoil. I've had a lot of sad days. I've had a lot of happy days. But uh, you know what? I'm just glad to say that I've had a lot of days. You know what I'm saying? I'm here still. And what can I say? So and it is what it is. And I know I've kept y'all long enough, and that's okay, because y'all was here to listen and talk to me. And y'all can talk to me, you know, about whatever, all right? We can talk about whatever. But I'm also very happy and thankful for the opportunities that I have gotten over the past years of being on YouTube. Girl, it's been fucking 16 years on YouTube. And no, not on this channel right here, because as y'all know, y'all know me very well. My first channel was hot. So we all know what happened. And then my second channel was fucking suspended. So here I am on the third channel. This channel is 10 years old. And here I am, still here, kicking, you know, and trying to compete with those. But then I realized, you know what, bitch, stop competing. and Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing and just do what's good for you, okay? Let me put this mascara on. Now, this is some bomb-ass mascara. I know y'all see this shit, right? Look at it. Now, y'all probably figuring, what is that? What is that? Well, this is actually CoverGirl Lash Blash Volume Waterproof with an Estee Lauder. I think, is this Estee, with a Givenchy mascara wand, okay? Now, the only reason why I switched them because I like the rollerball of this one right here. So it's it easily grips onto my short lashes on the bottom and not making a mess. Unlike the... um. The CoverGirl one, it's too big for the bottom, so I like to use this. They also have this kind of rollerball and matte uh, mascara, too. But I like the rollerball type effect for my lashes on the bottom. And let me tell y'all about this mascara. And I know y'all like, bitch, we already know about CoverGirl, okay? Yeah, but this one, I don't know if they changed the formula or what. But, girl, I tried to wash this shit off my face several times. Tati actually gave this to me because she said she couldn't get it off her lashes. Sure enough, I, it would not come on. It was on my lashes for, like, two or three days, and it wouldn't come off. And I tried everything, and I was like, oh, shit, I like this. Because, look, stay on there for a whole fucking week. I don't got to do shit, okay? Tati said she ain't like that, but I do because I ain't got to be bothered doing it, all right? For real, I ain't got to be bothered doing it. Mm -hmm. And then also, you guys, I wanted to tell y'all, I am trying to get a job. Yes, a job, girl. Uh-huh, a job. Um, I just want something part-time because I want to change it up. I do want to save money. I have money saved, but I just want I just want to do something different. You know what I mean? I did want to volunteer at the animal shelter. For the longest, I have wanted to volunteer at the animal shelter since COVID had hit. But of course, they was very picky, and you know, because of the issue with COVID, things were shut down. So I finally, it's, you can finally, um, you can now finally volunteer at the dog animal shelter. And I don't know, I'm just a real animal lover. I love animals, and I'm just really into animals. Like I love dogs. My pan, my do my little dog Pancake, she's everything to me. You know what I mean? Um, so I was telling Tinky how I wanted to volunteer. And Tinky snapped me right into reality. I was like, damn, why well, I didn't think this all these years? And this little boy, he was eight at the time, this little eight-year-old then told me, well, you know they're going to make you clean their cage. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, when they poop in their cage, they're going to make you clean it. Who's you think going to clean it? 
And I was like, oh shit, he is so right about that. I said, oh, never mind. I don't want to volunteer no more because I'm not about to be cleaning no dog crap, okay? He made me change my mind so quick. When I told Tati this and I told my son, Jerron, the, the story, it was like, yeah, what did you think you was going to do? Sit there and cuddle the dogs? Yeah, I did think I was going to sit there, pet the dogs, take them for walks, play with them. I did think that, but they, yeah, they have, he has a, a valid point there. I'm a volunteer, bitch. You're not playing with no dogs. You're going to clean this shit up. So my daughter Tati told me about being a cuddler at the hospital for babies, you know, that babies that have to be left at the hospital because they have issues, you can go in and you can help feed them or hold them and tell stories to them, like stuff like that. I think that's perfect. I think it's perfect because I love little babies. They're so sweet, you know. Little babies are amazing. I look at this mascara. Girl, okay? This could stay on my eyes for two days. I don't give a damn. Not at all. Yeah, stay on my eyes for two, three days. I ain't got to do nothing. People, <laughs> yeah. And then I just take it and put it back in this thing and put it back in this thing. Yeah, I don't know if they changed the methods or whatever, but look, I'm gonna take it as long as I don't go blind. Put on my pressed powder. My lips are so dry. Mm. That's a nice little beat. You know, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. However, I have been trying to experiment with, with the lipsticks. I'm gonna try that on my own. I don't wanna embarrass myself by lining it and trying to, mm -mm. I'm gonna try that on my own. I'm not gonna do that on camera with y'all. Plus I still wanna smoke, so. Wow my weed right here so it's not the time and place for the face you know what i'm saying and i really appreciate you guys sitting and talking with me or listening to me you know this shit like that you know this is what i've been through and i will say you know i can't believe like i've I've, I've been through a lot sometimes i look back at my life like wow i didn't even know that was gonna happen to me or you know, and I'm proud of myself. I have never caved in. I was looking for this damn makeup all the time. It was sitting right here. This is what I'm talking about when I can't see shit, but it'd be right there in front of me. Like, you know what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. I gotta put me a little highlight on my cheeks and shit. And then we done. Guess I'll use this one. This is by Pixie. My daughter Tati gave this to me. Where my little dog is. That's it, girl. So I love y'all. Peace out. I will see y'all in the videos, you know, in the next video, in the comments. I said I'm going to get better with that. You know, check the description box if you are interested in getting you one of those nice, one of these nice rings, okay, where you can fake it till you make it, boo. Or like I said, you don't even have to fake anything. Just, look, sometimes our wallets don't be all of that. And this is my thing, okay? Where is there a dollar amount that signifies that you love somebody? Like, there really shouldn't be. Maybe I'm just one of those women that I really don't feel like spending a lot of money on a ring shows that you really love the person. That's that's bad. That's bad. Because then we'd all have to be fucking super rich around here. But check out, you know, Maxine's. They have some really nice jewelry. Very affordable. When I say it's affordable, it's affordable. So if you're ready to get married, are you ready to get on your knees and propose to somebody, okay? Then, girl, check them out. Dude, check them out. Diva and Devo. Check them out. They got some really nice stuff, girl. Okay. I'll see y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the finished look from the makeup video. I did my two-week videos. This is the last one. They just sent me a cute little robe to go with it. You know you nice hair. This is actually their website and not their Amazon store, but it's a seven by five. It came out really cute. You know, we did the makeup and this is what it looked like now. I love you guys. Stay even delicious. Um, and yeah, check the description box. Still got all my, make it till you make it.